Turkey's ambitions in the realm of aeronautics continue to grow with the inclusion of its first ever indigenous medium lift helicopter product by Turkish Aerospace Industries, the T625. The type is being developed as a direct competitor, in an already crowded market, to existing foreign models such as the French Airbus AW139 and American Sikorsky Model S76 lines. The Turkish military stands to gain the most from its development for it fields an aging fleet of Bell UH-1 Huey helicopters for the medium lift role. Beyond its obvious military value, the T-625 will also be offered for civilian market roles to include VIP transport, oil, gas industry transport, search and rescue, SAR, and other roles typically slated for medium-class helicopters. The T-625 was born in a 2013 government-sponsored initiative for a multi-role helicopter platform. The aircraft will be given a traditional layout with lines not unlike the helicopters already offered from competitor Airbus. A short, rounded nose cone will make up the frontal section which will feature heavy glazing for maximum vision out of the cockpit for pilots. Aft of the cockpit will be the passenger cabin with sliding entry exit doors. Above the cabin will be the installation of the twin turbo shaft engine arrangement. This will power a five-bladed main rotor unit above the fuselage. A drive shaft will connect this power plant fit to a four-bladed tail rotor unit offset to the starboard side of the tail fin. At the tail will also be the horizontal stabilizer which will be capped at its ends by winglets. The undercarriage is set to be of a tricycle arrangement and complete retractable. Internally, the aircraft will hold a configurable cabin with seating for up to 12 occupants. In terms of power, it is hoped that local Turkish industry will be able to deliver a homegrown turboshaft engine to field in the T-625. Officially the helicopter is outfitted with the Rolls-Royce, Honeywell Tech CTS-800 engine series of 1,373 horsepower but the export potential of this engine is limited by United States control. This same engine family powers the new Thai T-129 Attack Turkish Attack helicopter product. Estimated performance specs for the T-625 include a cruising speed of around 172 miles per hour. Range is expected to reach at least 775 miles with a service ceiling nearing 20,000 feet. A first flight is tentatively scheduled for September of 2018. The developmental program will involve three flyable prototypes. Certification is planned for 2020. A four-seat training variant is also said to be in the works. In November of 2017, the T-625 was displayed, in mock-up form, at the Dubai Air Show. The following February, helicopter was on pace to enter market service sometime in 2020. On August 19, 2018, an incomplete prototype form was unveiled for the first time. On September 6, 2018, the T-625 prototype completed a short, 20-minute hop during early testing. The prototype is under preparations to undertake its first official flight sometime in 2019.